Hey y'all, this is Chan. Today I'm working on a 2014 Yukon. The problem with it was it was showing no oil pressure on the oil pressure gauge. Whenever you'd crank it, it stayed on zero. Pressure switch is uh, all the way by, by the between the firewall and the engine. There's a uh, heat shield right here and a vacuum hose that goes to your brake booster. I took this off. I did take this one hose here off to get to it. Those are only two hoses I had to remove. You can take this fuel line hose off, but you can get to it without having to take it off. There's a clip on top of the uh, connector. You pull it up, mash the clip in, and it unplugs. And then you have to have a inch and a sixteenth pressure sensor socket. Pick those up at your local parts house. You'll need a 3 8 swivel, a couple of short extensions, and a ratchet. I used a standard PS508 pressure switch. This is the old one I already took out. I've already changed it. That's your old one. There's also a filter in there. It comes, if you buy this one, it comes with the filter. I just used a little hook after I got the sensor off, run down in here, and just pull the filter out. Install my new filter, my new sensor, tighten it up, put my connector back on, put my vacuum line back on, and this other vacuum hose. And then I when I fired it up, it was still showing zero pressure. But the check engine light was also on. So I had to get my I got a little Bosch OBD1 and two uh, little scanner. I think I picked it up at O'Reilly's uh it did have the code on there for the pressure switch. I cleared the codes. And now when I crank it. Showing oil pressure. Check engine lights off. So this one here is good to go. Appreciate y'all watching. Hope this helps y'all.